What is up my amazing gemstones? It's Mary Gem and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be on what do they think about your social media? So yeah, we've got six piles here today. Let's get straight into it. So pile number one says spiritual truth. Okay. Pile number two, it's um, half and half, but it's a really pretty peach color, like a light beige color. Pile number three says, my life, with a question mark. Accurate. <laughs> okay. And then we have pile number four, and it says, lots of folk. Okay, sorry about that little string. We have pile number five, and it's a really deep gray color, like gray purple. And also, it's like half and half. So, like, it's lights on the right-hand side and dark on the left-hand side. And then we have pile number six, and it says, that's the stuff. Okay. So, yeah, guys, these are the six piles. Please pick as many as you guys would like. Please watch the entire video as well. I love you, and let's get straight into it. What is up, my awesome gemstones? It's Mary Gem, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be on what do they think about your social media? Okay, so let's get straight into it. The three cards that I pulled out for you are we have the surface level card that came up, right? Okay, <clears throat> we have the parties card, okay, and the back it says telling jokes, oh, okay, and then we also have the prepare for change. So, for some reason, I'm getting a lot of Scorpio and like Sagittarius energy, but yeah, I feel like when this person thinks about your social media, they feel like you're someone that is really kind of you know 100% and then 0%. It's kind of like you're all or nothing, so you're someone that will post on social media every day, you're like constantly updating everyone, taking pictures of your food, just like you know, talking all the time, or like you're always online you're always texting back super fast but then other times you're just like not replying really yeah not really replying not really posting not engaging not liking people's posts not um going online as much i feel like they notice that they can kind of tell when you aren't maybe doing well because maybe like when you are going through like a tough time you start posting maybe sad songs or you take away your profile picture like you just don't post at all it's kind of like they can tell that something's off about you you know and oh my god i'm talking so loud who is here anyways um yeah then we also have the service of course so that just talks about um, you're not really letting people in so I do feel like even when you do like post a lot and like let people like into your life more I feel like um, they know that you don't use social media as kind of being a diary you kind of just show your highlights yeah definitely because service level telling jokes and then parties that just talks about the highlights you know so it's like when you do post online um, they can just get the sense that your life is like fun, amazing. It's like they just get the sense that you're always going out, you have a lot of friends, you know, you eat nice food. Um, but they do know that it's like surface level. So it's like you don't post about, you know, like your relationship. So I do feel like they feel pretty safe. They feel like they know that if you guys would ever break up or like have an argument, you wouldn't be like running to your friends or like posting online or something. They know that you're someone that isn't that theatrical. Like you wouldn't post your breakdowns online. Um, but yeah, with the prepare for change card, they just get the sense that you're someone that changes a lot. So it's like you're either like on social media all the time or you're not like on it at all you know you're either like really making sure that everything looks nice like if you have instagram you know you you try to have a feed i'll put a picture on the screen now of like you know not a feed what's it like a theme sorry where it's like everything needs to look the same everything looks pretty but then other times you don't really care you just post whatever you know so yeah they do notice that like you have this like change basically and then as for tarot okay we have the five of pentacles that came up right we have the eight of swords nine of swords and then also the two of wands that came up right okay okay let me just fix this lighting okay yeah hopefully that's a little bit better so yeah okay let's start with the five of pentacles that came up right okay so 
they feel a bit left out when it comes to your social media i do feel like they wonder why you don't post them or they just feel like yeah like they like that you wouldn't like you know rush to your friends about like posting your crush or posting that type of stuff like you would never post your crush you would never be like oh six month anniversary not that i'm making fun of people that post their, their um partner by any means i just get the sense that this person feels like you know they like that you didn't do that but now it's kind of like <clears throat> it's backfiring like now they feel kind of bad because you won't post them you know i feel like they wish that maybe you just like even like post them in like an anonymous way or like you'd hint at the fact that you have a partner because they just get the sense that from your um pictures like you never allude to having a partner you never allude to saying oh i'm talking to someone like you never do that you know like you just post like hey like not hey like you'll post something with the caption that like maybe it's always alluding to the fact that you're having an argument with your with your partner but like you aren't or like people just feel like 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 i know some people like a lot of leos um they like post on their status right or like on their story and like they'll be posting like the most dramatic stuff but like it has nothing to do with their life just because it's funny you know some people like virgos like they will repost things they will be like yeah guys are so awful i hate them and i'm breaking up with my boyfriend but like they're in a happy and loving relationship with a man you know and it's just like a funny meme so i do feel like sometimes they get a bit offended by your posts or it's like they're kind of thinking like do you mean what you're busy posting or like is it surface level so when they do look at your social media like they wonder like how deep does it go basically you know damn how deep does it go Eh um but yeah like they wonder like how many people do you talk to like do you mean what you're busy posting um like why don't you ever post to me like i'm hearing that maybe they want you to like just post like a screenshot of like their name but like scratch out or something like something just alluding to them like not exposing their name but just something alluding to them um yeah because they just get like all this like speculation they're always like wondering like who is this person you're busy talking about but like they just can't understand your social media because it doesn't make any sense they can't tell if you're joking or not when it comes to certain things yeah like i'm hearing that you post a lot of memes and yeah they just don't know like what's serious and what isn't serious um you could definitely be someone that's really sarcastic as well so like they like that you're really blunt in your captions so whenever you do post pictures they love your captions they think it's really funny um yeah i'm hearing something about all inclusive or maybe like you do add captions to your videos they like that about you um then we also have the eight of swords that came up right so yeah that talks about um communication and messaging so i'm hearing that yeah you just don't reply really fast or you don't post that much like i say where it's like you post a lot and then you're just on a hiatus you don't post at all definitely um what else am i getting so eight of swords that just talks about feeling really bound up feeling trapped and confused yeah they feel like there isn't that much like creativity or wiggle room when it comes to your social media so you don't really post um maybe creative things or like they just feel like your photos are like kind of all the same kind of generic but like not in a bad way. I just feel like, yeah, maybe they feel like you post like, you know, the same songs. Like you're always at parties or like you're always posting your food or something. Like it's kind of like the same thing, basically. But they can tell that you're good at what you do. You're good at kind of hiding things. You're good at um, making things surface level. And then we also have the Nana Swords. See, I feel like it really does make them feel stressed out and worried for some reason. It makes them think about the past, yeah. Like, if you post something that's about, like, you know, dating, like, maybe you post something like, yeah, I don't like my partner, I, I miss being single. Like, then they're thinking, oh my gosh, did I do something wrong? Do they want to break up with me? What am I doing? Like, I just see them getting stressed out every time you post. <laughs> like, they always get so anxious whenever they see that you posted something, bro um yeah and then we also have the two of ones that came up right so that just talks about waiting to hear back from someone and contemplating different options so i am seeing that sometimes they wish you would rather post other things rather than some yeah like maybe sometimes you post things that they just wish you wouldn't like you know chrissy tegan and john legend it's like that virgo um sagittarius type thing where it's kind of like obviously john legend doesn't like the stuff that chrissy tegan is busy posting sometimes but you know 
Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, two of Wands, yeah. They're kind of just like laying low type energy. They're trying, like, you take them out of their comfort zone. Like, you post a lot of risky stuff. But yeah, I'm just getting that John Legend, Chrissy Teigen love where it's like, even though they're so different, it's like, he loves it though. He loves, like, he never thought about dating someone funny, but he never knew, like, how awesome it is, like, dating someone funny, so yeah guys that is what i got for part number one i really hope the video resonated i love you let's get into the next one what is up my awesome gemstones it's mary gem and i'm back with another video and yeah today's video is going to be on what do they think about your social media okay so the three cards that i pulled out for you are we have the phone call that came up right okay then we have the reunion card and we also have the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Saggy. Okay, Sagittarius is literally my favorite zodiac sign, period. Okay, Sag and Capricorn. Okay, anyways. So I'm hearing something about they get the sense that you love social media. Like you're always talking about how much you're like online a lot. But I feel like this person gets the sense that you use social media for like an... Um, ulterior motive or like they get the sense that you only use social media to like talk to your best friends and that's it and like to be in on the gossip or they feel like you use social media a lot but it's kind of like you know tiktok when there's two completely different sides like i feel like there's gay tiktok and there's straight tiktok and it's like just two completely different things you know um and yeah i feel like they just get the sense that you're like on the other side of tiktok you know so whichever side you're on the opposite um, they get the sense that you use social media for like different reasons compared to what other people use social media, you know. So when you say that you are online, it means that you're having like a business call and it means that you're like talking to your friends or I don't know. I just feel like they get the sense that you don't really like, you know, have fun when it comes to social media. You don't really like post that much in the like like fun things like you post more maybe informative maybe motivational even um but like it's like clockwork though i do feel like they see you as being like a really dedicated person and um yeah i definitely do see this person like stalking you um just like checking up on your page seeing what you're doing being a bit confused um but i am sensing that they like that yeah they like that you you do like social media like maybe you do social media as a job maybe but they like that you don't get caught up in the numbers you don't get caught up in like the small things yeah like you love social media but you aren't obsessed with it you know um i'm hearing that every time you post something they want to like call you and talk to you and like congratulate you because maybe you have like an um an anonymous site and like you store people on like anonymous sites or like you post things on like an anonymous site and like i'm hearing them say that they're really proud of you yeah maybe you have like a secret account where you don't really disclose your personal information like i'm hearing them say that they love that you're like so brave and everything yeah they're really proud of you that's so interesting like every time you post something they just want to be with you so maybe you're busy posting risky things and like it turns them on and that's why they want to be with you immediately but yeah every time you post something it like it makes them want to text you so they definitely probably have your post notifications on bro they have your post notifications on it they are always going to your page and checking up on what you're doing all the time and like they will call their friends and say yeah so and so posted today it's about this and this and this like bro did ass period 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 okay then let's see for tarot we have the page of pentacles that came upright okay we have the four of wands three of pentacles and also the nine of pentacles that came upright okay so you know how i was supposed to be talking about how um you use social media for maybe more of like a business thing or like stalking people now this can go either way or like it's both ways where it's like you're stalking them they're stalking you period like i'm hearing something about three of pentacles page of pentacles like your your account is private and their account is private and like both of you guys stalk each other but um it's like you can't get that far because both of you guys are private like i'm hearing that you guys both want the same thing so you know some advice from spirit would just be just follow them see what happens if you request to follow them 
like if you do it like comment down below and tell me what happens like i'm hearing like you should just call them like you should like request to follow them um but yeah, so we have the page of pentacles that came up, right? That talks about um, thirst traps. So yeah, they get the impression that you post thirst traps and that you're always trying to be sexy online, definitely. Um, I just feel like they love watching your videos or like um, listening to your voice. Like I'm not sure what you do um, online. Like it could be phone calls. It could be... Um, I don't know, like, informative stuff, but, like, whatever you do, do. Like, I'm hearing that they love watching, like, pictures of you, like, looking at pictures of you and everything. Um, yeah, because Page of Pentacles talks about, like, practical knowledge. So they think you're really smart. You help them a lot, definitely. You teach them things. Um, they think you're really successful. Yeah, they think you're doing really well. So if you definitely do this for a job, they can tell that you're doing well. You're making money. You're really resourceful. Um, yeah, and that you work really hard. They also feel like you don't really get that much rest. Because like I said, it's like you're really consumed with social media. But um, like I said, in a different way compared to other people. So, you know, some people might use it for more like entertainment. And you're more of like business or vice versa. People use it for business and you're more entertaining. You're more like informal. Like I'm hearing that it's the opposite of what they do. So yeah, and then we also have the four of wands that came upright. And yeah, that talks about the wishing card manifestation. So this person is manifesting you, bro. This person, um, yeah, like I feel like they will be thinking about you and then you post. Like I just see them like scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Then they see you post something like on IG or something. And then it's like, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about you. Like, yeah, they kind of think that it's a sign or something. They feel like you're probably manifesting them as well. Like, I just feel like you guys both want the same thing. Like, y'all both want to be together. Together. Um, yeah, but, like, why do I keep getting that? They keep wanting to call you and congratulate you. So maybe you're getting a promotion soon or they saw that you posted um, a promotion, a job promotion online. And they want to call you and say that they're really proud of you. They're happy for you. They want to celebrate with you. Um, this could definitely just be an excuse to talk to you. Like, I see them using your social media to find things to talk about um, with you in person. Yeah. So if you post a lot about, let's just say, yeah, your job promotion, I can see them talking to you in person and then saying, oh, I saw you posted online that you got a job promotion. Congratulations. Like, I literally see them through your pentacles trying to find, you know, intel on you through your social media because even if you don't post that much, your friends post about you, your family posts about you, you know? And I'm hearing that they can scroll all the way down because you have, like, a long record, yeah? Like, you post kind of, like, everything or, like, your entire life is, like, you know, online. They can just scroll back and, like, find out things about you. Um, yeah, three of pentacles, leaving a, boop, a blueprint, it does talk about um, social media again, like putting in the work and effort, so like they stalk you, they stalk you, and the nine of pentacles talks about being single, so they can tell that you're single, you're living life, you know, you're doing your own thing, that you're full of self-love, wealth, recognition and everything, you're just building yourself up. They can just tell that you're posting for yourself. You're not posting for other people, you know. They know that other people watch your stuff, but it's like, it comes from a place of, you know, you doing it for yourself. Um, yeah. And then the quote that comes with Nine of Pentacles is, alone by herself, she bought the kingdom that she always wanted. So yeah, really independent energy, bro. And yeah, that is what I got for pile number two. I really hope the video resonated. I love you loads. And let's get into the next one. What is up my awesome gemstones? It's Mary Gem and I'm back with another video. And yeah, today's video is going to be on what do they think about your social media? So let's get straight into it. The first card that I got for you is the Pride card. Then we have the Unrequited Love. And we have the Public card. So it says lurking and stalking. Click, click, click. So definitely this person is stalking you online. Um, if you're wondering, like, did they find your social media? Yes, they found your account. They know who you are online. Um, yeah, definitely. But I'm hearing for some reason that this person was super surprised 
that um you don't post that much like i'm hearing that you don't really put your life out there similar to pile number one and like even pile number two but it's different because i'm hearing that this person finds you really attractive and they're just really surprised that yeah you don't really post that much or i'm hearing that they found an account and they thought it was yours but like it was either a spam account a fake account or yeah, somebody made an account of you and they were pretending to be you, but like it wasn't you. So I'm hearing that like it's a bit, I don't know, a little bit sus. Like I'm hearing that this person literally thought that they found your account. So I feel like their perception of your social media, it's really different because they just found it recently. So they don't really have that much to go off of because maybe you just made a new account. So you don't post at all or... um they you haven't posted anything new so it's like they can look at your old pictures but they didn't really think anything of it because they don't see you that much like i'm seeing that this person follows a lot of people and you know yeah you don't post that much so they don't really think about your social media that much um but yeah they know that you're attractive they know who you are and i just feel like they wonder why you don't post that much yeah they wonder why you're so private and if you do have like, you know, two accounts where it's like you have one private account and one um, public account, I feel like this person gets the impression that you post a lot of things on your private account than you do on your public account. Like you care about your public image or something. They could think that maybe you're a bit like um, prideful or maybe just like a bit insecure. They like wonder like maybe you don't post because you're insecure. Maybe you don't post because of this and this and this. Like they're so concerned about why you don't post that much. Like they're asking so many questions. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the prior card does talk about not wanting to admit something. So for some reason, I'm hearing that maybe, like, yeah, I just feel like they embarrass themselves or like they thought that they found your social media account and maybe they even DM this account and they were like, hi, um, are you so-and-so? Like, I, I just see them like talking to somebody else and they thought it was you, but it wasn't you. And, like, they're too prideful to admit when they're wrong. So, yeah. Um, if you recently gave this person your account number, or, like, account number. If you recently gave them your handle, I'm hearing that they put it in wrong and they can't find your account. So, if they, like, they maybe just found it, like, you know, right at the second you're busy watching, they just found your account now. Like, they just, just found it. But, yeah, I feel like they've been struggling to find your account but they don't want to admit it. And then we also have unrequited love. So I am hearing that maybe it's kind of like they feel like you don't post for a certain reason and you're kind of feeling like maybe they aren't into you because they haven't followed you back. So like I said, it could just be because they get a lot of requests or they can't find your account. Like they didn't even know you were following them. Yeah i'm hearing that even and i think it's like too weird to like follow you now because it might just be awkward like you know when you thought you were following someone but then you realize you weren't and like i don't know why but it seems awkward like i'm hearing that they don't want to follow you back because they think it's really awkward yeah maybe um they're afraid that people are gonna find out that they're busy following you and like they don't want them to make it a thing um they could have a partner as well but let's get into it so as for tarot we have the two of cups that came up right interesting page of cups five of wands and also the seven of swords okay so with the two of cups this is a great card to get because that does talk about um reciprocation of feelings and emotions and then we got unrequited so bro these are two complete opposite things um but yeah so two of cups just talks about um liking someone and them liking you back like it talks about mutual love and sharing things so i am hearing that they they want to follow you like i'm just hearing that they don't have an opinion on your social media yet because they haven't followed you yet and if they are following you now it's kind of like they're busy stalking you i'm hearing that they like your posts yeah like they like they love your posts they like looking at pictures of you because they find you attractive definitely and they were really surprised by what they found on your account and I'm hearing that it's taking them a while to like get through all your pictures or like to get to your account. But yeah, they were really surprised when they saw your account for the first time. Maybe they didn't expect you to have so much pictures or like to have no pictures. And then yeah, Page of Cups talks about a third party. Like I'm hearing that 
every time they look at your account, someone else is busy talking about you and saying that that isn't your account. So yeah, I definitely feel like this person has a bit of confusion. They couldn't find your Instagram account or your whichever account, whichever social media account. I'm hearing that they got the wrong one. And now they're a bit confused because now they're going back and forth and saying five of ones. No, this is the right account. This isn't the right account. What am I doing? This is the right account. Like I'm just hearing they don't know if it's you or not. So maybe they think you're catfishing or they can't tell if it's you or not. Um, they feel like you're really different compared to online in real life. They're really confused, definitely super confused. I'm hearing that they also don't want to like, but yeah, they're so prideful. Like they don't want to ask you like just straight up, hey, I can't find your account. Like, can you just give it to me again? Like I'm hearing that they want to do that. They're way too prideful. Because five of one, it's like all these people are busy arguing, but none of one, none of them want to listen. Um Yeah. And then we also have the Seven of Swords that came upright. So Seven of Swords talks about sneaky energy. So I am hearing that maybe like, okay, a side note, maybe they blocked you or something. Like I'm just hearing that it's really awkward. Like either they unfollowed you, but they want to follow you back, but they think it's really awkward. Or like they blocked you a while ago and now um, they just think it's really awkward because they want to unblock you, but they're like, uh, do I unblock you, then follow you, or should I make a new account? Like, I'm hearing that they're, they're caught in a really awkward situation. Because they aren't telling you the whole truth about something. Yeah. Like, I remember one time, um, this one person asked me to follow them on Instagram, right? So then I typed their, num their name in, but then I couldn't find it. And then, like, I think I even messaged them and I said, hey, I can't find your account. Long story short, turns out I blocked them, like, a while ago and I had no idea. And then it was really awkward. Like, that could have happened with this person as well. Like, I'm hearing that, like, it's like, um... <laughs> it's just really awkward. So they don't really know what to do now. But, yeah, guys, let me know if I should make a updated video on this. I feel like there's still more things that need to unfold. Um, but yeah, I can make a second part to this because, yeah, they haven't really found your account yet or they don't know what to do with your account. They don't know if they should follow you back or, like, not follow you. Or, like, just like your pictures and then, like, not follow you afterwards. But yeah, that's what I got for pile number three. I really hope it resonated. And let's get into the next one. Well, what is our plan before this gets straight into your reading? So, um, yeah, what do they think about your social media? The first card that I got for you is the third party situation, okay? So I'm getting Taurus, Kansas, Scorpio, I'm getting Sagittarius, Virgo, and Aries. Like, I'm getting it to those three and those three, so, okay? Then we have the emotions running wild, mm-hmm. And we also have the Cancer Scorpio Pisces water signs. So definitely there could be any one of those zodiac signs. But yeah. So we literally have lots of folk and then we also have third party situations. So I'm hearing that a lot of people know about your account or like a lot of people talk about your social media account for some reason. Um, yeah, I feel like they think that your account's really cool. They feel like you post a lot of things that you feel confident in. I am hearing that maybe sometimes you post things that they wouldn't necessarily post about themselves. You could definitely be someone that posts like your emotions a lot or like you have a close friend and like they're a part of your close friends and they just think it's really interesting what you post when like no one's watching. Or I'm hearing that like they found your secret account and like they can see all of your posts and it's just like, I don't know, like I don't want to say it's embarrassing, but like maybe they're like a bit embarrassed because they see some of the stuff you post. Um, I'm also hearing that even if you don't post like anything like embarrassing of yourself, I'm hearing that um, your friends post though, your family does post. So this person might have found your mom's account first and like they stalked your mom and they saw all these photos of you or, like they saw you getting tagged in a photo. Or like you're tagged in so many people's photos, like your pictures are literally everywhere, like it's all over the internet, you know. It's like you're friends with half of their friends, so every time they're busy scrolling, you're in another photo with someone else. So it's like, it's your social media account, but you take pictures with other people and then they post it on their account. And I'm just getting the vibe where it's like, your face is basically everywhere, so they're constantly seeing your face and constantly hearing about you from other people. And, um... Yeah, like I'm hearing that they think that there's a lot of drama or they think that 
yeah drama because i'm hearing that maybe you always used to show up on like the other friend's account but then you stop so they can kind of tell that maybe there was some drama maybe you guys stop being friends um yeah like if you posted a picture with you and your partner maybe they get the impression that like there was a third party because a week before that you posted with a different person so this person's like I just see them kind of being obsessed with like your drama and like keeping up with your drama like keeping up with the Kardashians like they will just like watch your story watch your stuff and like look at your stuff and be like oh look at this look at this look at that and like trying to connect dots trying to find out like is there a cheating scandal um just keeping up with your emotions if you post things that are really um like subtweets or something I see them trying to find out who you're busy talking about so this person could always be wondering, are they talking about them? Yeah, like they think everything's about them. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, so maybe somebody hasn't moved on yet. But okay, let's see. As for tarots, we have the Five of Cups that came upright. We have Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups, and then also the Magician card that came upright. So yeah, like I said, I am seeing that this person has really... Um, a great memory so if you do ever post something that's like contradictory to what you posted before i am seeing them like maybe even get a bit annoyed like i'm seeing maybe you posted um oh i hate pineapple on pizza and then like three years later you post a picture of you eating pineapple on pizza and then they're like oh my gosh you're lying i look at this like i'm seeing them kind of forming their own opinions about you online so this person might not talk to you that much but it's like they can already guess what you're like just from your social media and i am sensing that like sometimes they think that like you're being dishonest or um they might have some issues with what you post online this could definitely be a family member guys you know like not all of these are like romantic so yeah definitely if it is family like i'm hearing that your family's like why do you post this stuff stop it nah, 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 nah. i'm hearing some whining energy or um i'm hearing maybe like you have like younger cousins and they want to follow you on social media but you said no and now they're like so upset so they think you probably post like things that you shouldn't be posting but like i'm hearing that like you have a really ordinary account like you just post normal things you post pictures sometimes, sometimes you post videos every now and then. You don't really care about who likes your stuff, who doesn't. But I am seeing that you're really popular. You get a lot of comments. Um, yeah. I'm hearing that this person thinks that you probably get a lot of like DMs or people feel like you have like a lot of options. They feel like your life is full of drama, yeah, and excitement. And like it's so emotional. They feel like your life is like a theater. Like you're always doing something crazy. Or you're involved in a third party situation. Um, people get the impression that maybe like you have a sugar daddy or something. That um, you're involved in something. Like a certain situation. And then we also have the five of cups that came upright. So that talks about being disappointed. Okay. Um yeah maybe sometimes you post like really sad things maybe they get the impression that maybe you're depressed or you're feeling sad about something yeah like i'm hearing that you got bad news about something so they think that you're not doing so well maybe maybe they feel like you haven't moved on from an ex per se or they haven't moved on from an ex um Like, I'm hearing that you found out the truth, the truth about something and you're kind of, like, not really giving a shit who hears about it. Yeah. Like, maybe you had an argument recently with someone and you're kind of just, like, over it. You're saying, you know what? Screw you. Like, you're in my life and you're kind of just doing whatever you want to do. You're just posting whatever you want to post. Like, that's why I'm seeing that, like, there's a lot of drunk pictures of you online. And remember, this can also be this might still happen so maybe you haven't done this yet you don't post this stuff yet but like in the future you might um you know the same is coming up guys the jaw is gonna away i mean if lockdown still isn't a thing because yeah level four guys <laughs> but that's just my south african viewers um for my international viewers um you know like yeah it still could happen um and then we also have the queen of swords that came up right i don't know why but i freaking love the queen of swords i think she's a baddie she's a bad bitch yeah but any gender so 
Yeah, I am hearing that. Yeah, I just feel like this person thinks that you were close with someone and then you stop posting them. So it could definitely be a partner, um, a past partner, you know, like this Queen of Swords does represent a widow as well. So they just get the impression that you were close to someone, you're not close anymore, you deleted all the pictures and it's like there's a bit of drama left over. You're still trying to move forward with that drama because then afterwards we have the Nine of Cups that came upright and that just talks about desires, moving forward, being happy with where you are and being happy with your current situation. So they can tell that you're happier after you leave something. Um, but yeah, they can tell that there was some drama or like there's some gaps in your timeline when it comes to your social media. It's like you were posting, posting, then you stopped and now there's like a change. <gasps> like, oh my gosh, I'm going to put a picture here. They both that in the end. I'm going to put Rufus's um, social media on the screen now. It's so sad. But like all these pictures are in black and white and then here's one picture that's in color. So they can tell that you definitely went through something that was like, you know, life changing. And then with the magician card, yeah, you're kind of making the best out of what you can. You're really creative. You post what you want. And yeah, I think it's really cool. So yeah, follow for follow my blue. And yeah, that is what I got for partner before. I love you. And let's get into the next one. What is up my awesome gemstones? It's Mary Gem and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be on Yeah, what do they think about your social media? So the first card that we have is the in love card And like I'm hearing that song where it's like It's not unusual to be in love by anyone I'll link it down below But yeah, and then we also have the chasing and the coupling maybe So yeah, chasing and coupling just means, you know flirting basically <laughs> and then we also have <coughs> sorry we also have the Bashir card okay so um for some reason guys part number five I feel like this person thinks that you only use social media to like talk to your loved one okay I don't know why I said it like that okay like I'm getting these two different sides to this part of five so if you're looking at this from like a romantic point of view okay I'm first gonna look at it from like a family point of view I feel like people get the impression that you just use social media to like talk to your friends from like across the world or like talk to yeah friends to connect with people like or to send like funny memes like I'm getting like you're the person that will send cat memes send tiktoks like that's why I use social media um like you're the type of person to you know like post um I don't know like daily routines um the type of person that will like you know, watch dancing videos on TikTok. Like, I'm just getting really, you know, Gen Z. But also, like, Generation X for some reason. Like, you could definitely be way older. And you still don't really understand how, like, how technology works. Like, you kind of just post whatever you want. Um, like, I remember I saw something on TikTok that said, normalize just posting whatever you want on social media. And, like, you know, like, um, what's her name? Emma Chamberlain. I'll put a picture on the screen now. Like, her Instagram feed where, like, she just posts whatever she wants. So, they get the impression that you don't really care um, how you come off. You don't really care what you post. You just post whatever you want. Like, you don't take, you know, Instagram that seriously. But I am hearing that they get the sense that you like watching dancing videos. Like, they just tell that, they can tell that you're a great dancer. But then the other point of view I was getting is that some people that are your age feel like you use social media just to like get stuck, to chase, to couple me bro. So in English that means to just um, like I don't know, get your numbers, to get your people, to get how do you say stuck in English? In English, to get you know people like to flirt with people basically, yeah. People get the impression that you use your Instagram to just DM you know girls, guys, non-binary, whoever you want, gender fluid. Like they feel like you use social media to like you know find people to date basically, because I get them saying like all of your friends are online or like all the people that you end up dating or hooking up with are people you met um, online. Like I'm hearing that. Um, if you have like a dating profile, they feel like it's really in depth or they feel like you really took the time to like, you know, fill everything in, say what you're like. Um, like they get a really well-rounded impression of you because I'm hearing that, um, like all your social media is like, it really does say who you are, you know, like they get your entire vibe with what you post. Um, especially because you don't take yourself too seriously. You don't take your pictures too seriously. You know, if you went out, had drinks with friends, like you'll post like just random pictures um they can tell that you smoke that you drink maybe they can tell that 
you love going to a certain restaurant all the time. Like I'm hearing that they can just tell certain things about you. It's similar to like Boy Meets World. I forgot her name. I think it's Chelsea and Sean. I'll put a picture on the screen of them now. But Sean basically found Angela. Angela. It's Angela and Sean. Um, Sean found Angela's wallet and then he fell in love with her like just with like looking at these pictures of her and i'm seeing that this person loki fell in love with you based just on your pictures so well your pictures your videos whatever you post online and yeah they fell in love with it bro like i'm hearing that this person just saw this one picture of you and they were like oh my god you are perfect i need you and like yeah and that's why people feel like you post things with like maybe like the male gaze in mind um but like, if not that, don't get mad at me. If not that, then you just post things that you find that you like, you know, about yourself. Yeah. Like, you just post whatever. Hashtag no filter. Hashtag blessed. Yeah. And then, let's see. So, we also have the Ten of Swords that came up, right? Mm-hmm. We have the Four of Cups, Ten of Wands, and also the Six of Cups that came up, right? So, a lot of 10-10 ten, ten energy, okay? That does talk about completion. So... Yeah, like I said, with the In Love card, this person fell in love with you based on just your photos. Um, yeah, they really are into you. I'll link down the other song where it's like, Cause I'm so into you, into you. A little bit <laughs> Um, Yeah, I just see people wanting to flirt with you. People get the impression that you're really flirtatious online. Like maybe they will be like scrolling through um, Instagram and then they will check maybe someone's comments and they see you there like commenting hot eyes, commenting fires or whatever. Like they can tell that you flirt a lot on social media. <clears throat> And you know Basho, he is literally just such a player. Like he's always just text texting. Like he's always like, you know, just hooking up with goals. So yeah. And then we also have these six of cups that came upright. So that talks about nostalgia. So yeah, I'm hearing that you post a lot of throwbacks. Um Yeah, this person really cares about you. I'm hearing that they care about you. Like a lot. They think you're like a really cool person. They love your photos. They like how playful you are, like how immature and like easygoing you are. <clears throat> but yeah, I am hearing that like they just found a picture of you and they were like obsessed basically. And I'm talking softly because I just realized I was shouting. Oh my god, embarrassing. Embarrassing. So yeah, and then we also have the Ten of Wands that came upright. So that talks about being really overwhelmed. So I am hearing that this person saw your account and then they were kind of like, damn my account is not as good as yours so yeah they definitely were comparing themselves to your account and i'm hearing them trying to like post more and like them trying to get maybe as much followers as you as well um yeah they feel like a lot of emotions for you and they feel like it's a burden like i feel like they don't want they want to tell you or they want to dm you they want to message you but like they don't know if they should yeah like i'm hearing that they're afraid to like continue talking to you like they're afraid to keep talking to you because they feel like you're not really serious about them they feel like you probably get so much messages so much dms and you probably do you know <laughs> like they're not wrong um but yeah i'm seeing this person wanting to get romantic with you but yeah they're just really worried that like someone else beat them to it basically because Ten of Wands, yeah, it just talks about complications, working really hard. Um, talks about change. And they're just really suspicious about other people as well. Because, yeah, I feel like they just saw you, they saw you, like, happening. Like, if they're busy scrolling, they'll see your name pop up in everyone's comments. Like, you're always commenting hot ass on your friend's posts. Or, like, you know, the fire emoji or, like, looking good. And then they're, like oh like are you not single like what's happening like are you something or you know what's clapping like i see them wanting to know more about your social media wanting to know more about your tendencies but yeah this person fell for you like i'm getting cinderella energy okay then we also got the four of cups that came upright so yeah that talks about you know stability having a vivid imagination um but yeah i do see this person 
I don't know what about I see them ghosting you like I feel like they saw your social media they were into you they saw you like posting someone so posting like something and then they were like no maybe not I could turn them off maybe and I love you I'm sorry guys I'm sorry but yeah four of cups does talk about not really being interested you know talks about just like taking time to just you know be with your thoughts and everything so I'm just seeing that they saw you post something that was a bit disturbing or it made them think they were like oh okay and now ten of swords they're kind of wondering how do they move forward and they are wanting to end a cycle so I do definitely see them coming forward they're just afraid that um you're going to reject them or that this relationship won't work out, basically. But yeah, they do like you. You know, balancing out good and bad. They know that you're really, like, an amazing person. That They know that you're a catch. They know that other people know that as well. They feel competition. Um, I'm hearing them say that they want you to take a break from posting. And, like, just focus on them. yeah so that is what i've got for part number five i really hope it resonated and let's get into the next one what is up my awesome gemstones it's mary gem and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be on um what do they think about your social media so let's get straight into it the first card that we got for you is something good <clears throat> then we have the ignoring card and also the crushing card it says coupling feeling so if i can i will link down the song don't couple feelings don't couple feelings no please don't couple feelings i'll link it down below so yeah <laughs> um yeah coupling feelings means don't catch feelings in english couple means catch no it doesn't but yeah it means catch feelings in english anyway so i'm hearing that this person thinks that you post a lot of like motivational stuff i'm hearing that maybe like you're really well known on social media and it's kind of like they feel a bit like oh okay like you guys have the same amount of followers i'm hearing that you guys are really similar you guys post the same thing um they like what you post i am hearing that maybe you like you have a racing bitch face or something and like i love you i'm sorry but yeah and maybe they sometimes think that you're really mean because you don't ever reply to comments or like you don't like yeah you ignore people's messages like when you're online like they see you posting a lot a lot a lot but like you never reply to messages yeah like they see you as being like that sturdy person like that person that like you know, you act like you don't want to reply to people. Like, I don't know. Like, they just get that impression. Like, you're really sophisticated. You're really smart, really educated. Like, I'm getting you really fancy, you know? Like, you only post pictures that are, like, of high quality. You only post really good pictures, really nice pictures. Um, you know, photo shoots. Like, you don't post pictures that, like, don't go with your aesthetic. Um... Heck yeah. But I'm hearing that they love your photos. They love your account though. They feel like you guys have such similar taste and everything. They can tell that you guys have similar taste in music. Definitely. Like I'm hearing that they definitely were crush. They were crushing on you. You know, this person could definitely have a partner now. But I do feel like when they first saw your account, like they were crushing. Because I'm getting past stains for some reason. I feel like maybe, like, after you ignored them, they were kind of like, oh, okay, like, I'm not good enough or something. Um, but, yeah, maybe you just didn't see the comment or something. But, yeah, let's get into it. So, we have the two of swords that came up, right? We have the justice card. And also, you guys got the most amount of cards. So, yeah, justice, the strength card, the emperor card, and also the hermit card that came up, right, okay? so let's get into the two of swords that came upright first this talks about just being really defensive so i am hearing that maybe like they were asking like yeah i just feel like they saw your account they thought you're really attractive but then you never really paid them the time of day um yeah and if they haven't found your account yet then i'm hearing that when they do find your account it's gonna be like they're gonna think you're really attractive but like they won't really know if they should message you or not because i just get the impression that they get yeah they get the vibe that you wouldn't reply to them they get the vibe that you wouldn't be interested in them and that you have a certain type and they aren't your type 
and even though you guys are really similar they just feel like yeah you wouldn't reply to their messages um maybe you have like an at in your bio or like this person gets the impression that you're taken yeah because two of us talk about you know not wanting to talk to someone so they get the vibe that you're someone that is really selective with your um words and with who you talk to you could definitely be an introvert so you don't post that much but like i said when you do post it's like really nice pictures really flattering pictures and then we also have the justice card that talks about being fair so yeah you guys post really similar things the strength card um really attractive photos i'm assuring that like they're kind of scared of you or they feel like you don't like them <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't know why. Because, like, with the Emperor card, it does, you know, talk about Aries energy, being strong, being in charge and everything. Yeah, being really smart, being older. It's so, like, maybe they feel like you're only interested in older people and not them. Or they think your account's like a spam account or something. So, yeah, I don't think that they, like, think too much about your account but like when they do think about your account it's like they think that you post really nice photos um they just feel like maybe like you're not interested or they're not really interested in like doing anything about it it's like they think you post cool stuff but that's it and they are crushing but it's kind of like the thing where it's like yeah they're cute but you know like i'm not gonna catch any feelings or like i'm not gonna do anything about it Especially if they feel like you might be taken. Like, I just see them saying they don't want to, you know, get involved in any drama. Because the strength card I'm seeing, like, maybe there's someone that's always commenting in your, on your photos. And they're kind of like, oh, is that your partner? Or is that your boyfriend or something? So they don't want to get involved. And then the emperor card, yeah. You just seem kind of like you already are preoccupied with something else or someone else. And then with the hermit card, that does talk about, um just being by yourself so you know scorpio energy um sec secluding yourself <clears throat> it talks about solitude so they just get the vibe but you're an introvert you don't really yeah go out there much post that much like you, they just feel like you guys are similar but you guys probably wouldn't have that much in common maybe you know like maybe they're more of like a party go and you're more like stay at home be by yourself you know and talk to people that you want to talk to and not talk to everyone But yeah, that does talk about hearing from someone. So I do feel like they try to shoot their shot with you. They were ignored. And they kind of just like moved on from this. So if you do want them to message you again, like I'm hearing like, you know, just like a few of their pictures. Or like try to make it known that like you are single because they don't really know. They can't tell. Because I'm just hearing that they don't want to get involved. Or involve themselves in like drama. Or like they still want to be single basically, you know. So they're not looking for something serious. But yeah, I do feel like your account did catch the eye at some point or another. And yeah, guys, that is what I got for part number six. I really hope the video resonated. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.